Hi, I'm Taryn Butler. I'm at the 2009 SHOT Show at the Veltor booth with gun writer James Tarr. And we're looking at a really fun gun. We used to love movies, we still do. This was the bomb back in the day. This is the Miami Vice gun uh, that Tubbs used to use. It's back from the Crockett. dead. Crockett, Crockett. Oh, start it over. <laughs> no. Who cares? All right, you're right. Crockett. All right, show us Crockett's gun. Okay, uh, first two seasons of Miami Vice, 85 through 87, he carried a Bren 10. Uh, this is Jeff Cooper's baby 10 millimeter. Um, the problem was, is, uh, as great as it was, the company didn't quite have the, the money to back it out, and so only about 1,500 were ever produced, and the magazines were even scarcer than the guns. Uh, Eric uh, Kinsel of uh, Ultor here has uh, created a new version. Um, doesn't quite have the rights to the Bren 10 name yet. It's called the Fortis. Well, this is uh, the original one. It's the original. This is the, the new and improved version. Uh, there's been some it's pretty much identical in every single way. Um, they've the, they've improved the extractor. The former extractor had a uh, loaded round indicator that weakened it. They've improved that, changed that. Then the original gun held 10 plus 1, 10 millimeter. This new one takes uh, EAA witness mags, 14 plus 1 capacity, and 10 millimeter. It's also going to be available in 45. That's See the magazines. Uh, the old one is very thin, a little fatter. Mag. Two more rounds of 10 mil. So, and a much more affordable magazine. And one of the coolest things is uh, the, Eric is as big a fan of Miami Vice as we are. They, uh, in the TV show, um, the, original, the original gun was two-tone, blue over stainless. It didn't show up well. The producers had a hard chrome slide. Eric is going to be offering a Vice model with a hard chrome slide and an MV in the serial number. How cool is that? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. What I like about this gun, I'm a competitive shooter, is the trigger pull on all these guns is about a pound and a half on the single action pull. Got a carry thumb safety, still a totally incredible design, and I really love the look of that mean yeah, the, ass the, looking bushing crown, on the front of it. The crown bushing. It really uh, stands out. Which was unique in the original one, makes it look like it's about a 70 caliber, double action, or carry it cocked. And don't forget, Veltor, of course, is known for their incredible AR 15 stuff. Their mod stocks, their upper receiver, the mirror, the mirror receiver is the best thing out there. Beefed up in all the right places. It's helped me get a lot of championships. It's unbelievably awesome, and they got the best stuff out there.